Okay, lads, um, just a quick little video here on um, what you might have missed out in class there during the week. There were a number of you out. But what we're going to look at is how to get a location on one of these discovery series maps. So these were the maps we were looking at in class. And if you remember, the scale on these maps, I just write it down here, was one to 50,000. Okay, just remember that. Um, the ones we were looking of, of the world, I think were one to 150 million or something like that. So this will only work on these maps. So if we want to give, <coughs> excuse me, the location of, we'll say this box here, for example, or this box here, for example, or maybe a specific point, maybe we want to give uh, the location of, let's say that caravan park there, that exact point. There are different ways of doing it. There are actually two methods, which I'm going to show you. So one, <coughs> excuse me, is called a four-figure grid reference, which you'll see in a minute, and the other is called a six-figure grid reference. So the four-figure grid reference gives you the location of one box on the map, and the six-figure grid reference gives you the location of one point on the map. So we look at both of those. We do the four-figure grid reference first, and then the, the, the six-figure after that. So when you look at a map, um, you'll notice at the top you have numbers increasing from left to right. So on this one, it's 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, and so on. They are called Eastings. You don't need to get too caught up on that, but that's what they're called. And then you have numbers on the side, 33, 34, 35, 36. It could go 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. It just depends on the map you're looking at. And the ones on the side are called Northings. And you'll notice that the ones on the top, the 64, corresponds with the 64 down here and the 63 up here corresponds with the 63 down there and so on. So whatever 1 to 50,000 discovery series map we look at, it will have numbers on them. Now the other thing it will have on them is a letter. So if we look on this one, there's a big blue letter V. Okay, now that's important because that helps us to locate where it is on Ireland. And we saw that in the class with the national. Um, the N, don't worry about that. That's the north symbol for the compass. So you can ignore the compass north it's it's the it's the v another map might have a blue m another map might have a blue s or whatever so let's go and look and see um how do we get the location for something on this map let's say for example this box how do we do it so i'm just going to zoom in the map just a little bit you'll notice that we do have our eastings up the top there look 92 93 94 all the way to 99 and we have our actually strangely enough similar numbers here on the side so they won't always end up like that. You could have 31 down here, 32, 33. It just happens that it's similar to the ones at the top there. So we go on to the next map there. Um, or we can use actually this one. In fact, I'll just I'll take out the um I'll take out my drawings there. Just bear with me for a second. So I'll just get rid of all those so we won't confuse things. Here we go. So if we want to um get the location of that particular box, how do we do it? So we look at the bottom left-hand corner of the box there, and we basically draw a line up to the top and the bottom, and that crosses up here at 9, 3. So we're going to have to write our letter here, which is the letter V, that guy there. So I'll just write it down here for the moment. So it's going to be V, and it crosses the line at the top at 93. So nine three, and we must do the same along the bottom of the box. So now I'll draw a line with my ruler here. There we go. And that crosses the line over here at 88, 89. So that's V9389. So the four figure good reference, because you use four numbers, is V9389. And that's called a four figure good reference. And that gives you the location for that box. So you just go to the bottom left hand corner of the box. You give where it crosses the line at the top here at 93, and you give where it crosses the line here at the right, which is 89. And that gives you the location of the full box. That's the official way to do it. And it's V for V here, 9389. Let's try another one nice and quickly. Let's give the location for this one. So again, on this map, it's the letter V. So we're going to again have a V. And if we draw the line straight up where it crosses the 96 there, we'll see 96, so 96, and we just leave a little space between them. V, oops, that's a little bit messy there. V96, and the one where it crosses over, it hits here at 90. So V9690. And again, I've used four numbers, <coughs> excuse me. So 
that should be 90 my apologies v90 and um, i've used four numbers so that's a four figure grid reference and if i just call it up here there it is v6 v9690 and it gives the full box there okay so straightforward enough um, i'll just do one more here just loosely with the pen if i wanted to give the location of uh we'll just say this box here that particular one and if i was doing it by hand i'd look at my dot here and i come all the way up to the top and that's v it's crossing at nine two and over here oops it's crossing at eight nine v nine two eight nine so that's that's just a very rough simple one there okay what if we wanted to get um an actual point on the map so just get rid of these guys here so if i wanted to get an exact dot on the map so the previous ones we looked at were a full box here we want to get a dot so that parking symbol there that exact spot on the map now it's quite similar we write our v again but we're looking for six numbers this time instead of four numbers i'll just put the pen back on here so it's going to be v anyway and again we draw our line right through it and that's crossing up here now if you look at it it's crossing between 95 and 96. so if you were to put in a decimal point that's about 95.4 i'd say so i put in v95 but i'm not allowed to write the decimal point okay sorry just bear with me now 95.4 we can think of it as 0.4 but we don't write in the decimal point and we come across then same as we did with the other one and it's between 88 and 89 and it's about 88.9 so i'm just going to put in 88.9 but i don't put in the decimal point i can think of it as a decimal point but it's not a decimal point so that's straightforward enough um, and if i call that up there there we go v954889 let's do another one nice and quickly let's go for this one here this little island so that again will be v must be because v is on the map now that's between 93 and 94 so that's got to be about 93.8 maybe 93.9 i'll put in 938 but i'm not allowed to put in the decimal point and I, this one crosses over here at just above 90 so it's about 90.1 maybe so 901 and that's what i got on my other one now this i have 93.9 here it's close enough with my 938 here no problem there let's do another one there's a a red triangle it's a youth hostel so if i put in my line up there that crosses between 97 and 98 it's about maybe 97.6 and this one is between 91 and 92 and it's about 91.2 maybe so we'll just call that one up so i have 9v977912 okay now this one is a little tricky one the little cavan guy here there he is look see him now he's right on the 89 line so we'll, we'll have a look at that so first of all it's v anyway this is going to be v and i put in my line up he's between 97 and 98 he's really close to 97 so i think he's about 97.1 so i put down 971 but my line across is right on the 89 line now i can't have five numbers i either have four or six but i want to give the exact dot so that's eight nine and he's right on the 89 line so it's zero v971 eight sorry eight zero zero my apology it's right on the eight zero line eight zero zero okay my next one have another one quite similar here it's a train station so if i put my line through that he's going to be v nine seven and he's right on the nine seven line so he's got to be nine seven zero and i come across there and he's between nine zero here and nine one it's about nine zero eight maybe nine zero seven nine zero seven maybe so what have i got nine zero eight it's very close so that that'll do fine so if it's right on the line for for the actual point you end in a zero okay um so we'll just do one more quickly here by hand with a kind of a slightly bigger map so if i wanted to give we'll just say the four figure good reference for this box here okay there's an m next to it here and you can see there's a zero zero line here so anything on the left of the zero zero line is m so I'm going to put m and it's the bottom left hand corner of the box so i go all the way up to the top or the bottom there and it's crossing at 98 m 98 if i come all the way across and i'm just doing that by hand there 64 
So that's the four figure grid reference for that box. Okay, so I'll just wipe off most of that stuff there just to make it a little bit easier. So the four figure grid reference for that box is M9864. And if I want to do a six figure grid reference on here now, let's just say, for example, this symbol here, the boating activity symbol there. Okay, that's going to be M. Now that crosses there about. So that's 99.2, I'd say. So M992. And if I go across here, and he comes all the way across, he crosses about there. So that's about 684, I would say. 68.4. So 684. And that's the six figure good reference for that dot there. So hopefully that helps. Um, there were a few exercises in the book that I was giving in class the other day, so you were for that. So you can carry on with those exercises and, and give them a go. So hope that helps.